Our Chaldon is the newest cross-gen evolution added into the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Indigo Disc DLC. With phenomenal stats, a great typing, and a busted new move in Electro Shot, it can certainly make a splash in the competitive scene. But just how will you run it? Let's go over some ideas in today's moveset guide. If you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe because I make tons of competitive Pokemon content just like this. Now let's get into the video. Alright, welcome to the first moveset guide for the uh, DLC. Our Chaladon is the first one we're going to cover. Uh, some of you guys might you know, be asking when are we going to cover the new Pokemon that were revealed, like the other paradoxes, or like the two unrevealed paradoxes, I'm not going to give the names, because uh, I have a spoiler policy on the channel. Basically, for the first week of the DLC, uh, I'm only going to be covering content that was revealed in trailers and that we knew was coming. Uh, and then after that first week around like Friday-ish or uh, Saturday, Sunday, then we'll move on to some of the new Pokemon once people have had a chance to play the game. But yeah, uh, we're going to start off with Archaladon. Uh, it's a Pokemon that a lot of people were pretty excited for. It's the evolution of Duraludon. Uh, it has a pretty impressive base stat total of, I believe, 600. Uh, it's not on Showdown yet currently, so we'll be using slides to actually display the movesets. But yeah, uh, Archaladon's a Steel Dragon type. It has some pretty great stats. 90 HP, 105 attack, 130 defense, 125 special attack, 65 special defense, and 85 speed. I honestly thought they were going to King Gambit this guy. I thought that they were going to lower the speed of Duraludon, get him like an insane HP stat, like really, really good defense and really, really good special attack. Uh, but as it turns out, they kind of just added some points here and there. Um, it's, it's speed just stays the same, which I found insane. Uh, but regardless of that, it's still going to be a pretty decent Trick Room on, uh, and it's a pretty impressive Pokemon overall. But yeah, before we get into it, if you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. Uh, we're going to be doing movesets for all the new Pokemon that drop in this DLC. And let's get into it. So the first moveset is going to be uh, an Assault Vest moveset. Now, our Chalodon is a pretty phenomenal Assault Vest user because of its decent HP stat at 90. It's really high defense stat. Uh, and it's not like the low special defense isn't what makes it a good Assault Vest user. It just makes it a good candidate for the Assault Vest because you're going to want to like make sure you're not taking as much from Moonblast. So uh, this EV spread is going to be max HP, 4 defense, 196 special attack, 52 special defense, and 4 speed with a modest nature. And the moveset's going to be Electro Shot, Flash Cannon, Draco Meteor, and Snarl. So, the reason we're running it like this is that max HP is going to allow you to get as much bulk out of it as possible. Obviously, with that high defense stat, you don't need to invest too much. We're just putting 4 in there. Uh, we're also putting 4 speed to outspeed the uh, lower speed Pokemon that might want to speed creep for like a slower variant of Rillaboom or whatever. Uh, so that is going to be fairly useful. Uh, however, with the 85 base speed, you could actually go ahead and reduce your HP in bulk uh, and invest more in that to actually outspeed things. I didn't expect this thing to have like Rillaboom speed, to be honest, but the fact that it does means that you can actually get away with other like speed tiers. You can even like Choice Scarf it if you really want to. Uh, but regardless, uh, this uh, EV spread is basically just meant to allow it to get as much damage as possible while also remaining a pretty bulky wall. So... You would want to pair this guy typically with uh, a rain setter for the electro shot uh, to go in one turn and maybe like a Rillaboom actually. Rillaboom will allow you to pretty reliably get electro shot off uh, while also giving you recovery uh, and reducing damage from earthquake if you actually run into a Pokemon that uses that nowadays. But yeah, uh, the idea here is with 196 special attack, you're actually hitting the bump. Uh, you're going to get a little bit of extra points out of that without investing too much. And it'll allow you to be a pretty threatening special attacker after using Electro Shot. Uh, if you don't know, Electro Shot is the base 130 uh, power special move that is this thing's signature move. Despite it not being a stab move, it is pretty impressive because it's effectively Meteor Beam. Uh, if you don't know how Meteor Beam works, it works exactly the same as Meteor Beam, but with a different added on thing. Uh, Meteor Beam was a rock type move that is now back as a TM. Uh, and what it does is on the first turn, it charges up like Solar Beam and it gives you a plus one boost to your special attack. And then on the second turn, you actually fire the attack. The thing with this move is if Rain is active, it all happens in one turn. You get the special attack boost and then you just annihilate whatever's in front of you. They had to make this an electric move because if it was a stab move, if it, if it was Steel or Dragon, this thing would be absolutely busted. But yeah. Uh, that's really good for this guy because you can just go ahead and fire off an attack. Uh, I am going Terra Grass on this set. However, you could justify running 
uh, the Electric Terra set for a little bit of extra damage, but I think Grass is good. It just makes it so uh, you keep the resist on Urshifu while losing your weakness, and you're also immune to Spore and Sleep Powder, uh, as well as Rage Powder from opposing Amoongus, but that doesn't really matter because we are running Stalwart. It's mostly just for Sleep Powder. Uh, and yeah, you also gain a Ground Resist, which is pretty nice for your uh, Steel Typing, and you don't really care, like, on the Fairy side of things. You're still neutral versus Fairy. I don't even know why I thought about that. But yeah, uh... Basically, Electroshot is a nuke on whatever at plus one. Uh, however, the point of Electroshot is to get you to plus one, and at plus one, you're going to be one-shotting like even bulkier variants of Fluttermane. Your Draco Meteor is just going to be an absolute nuke. And Snarl, while it isn't meant to take KOs, uh, it will allow you to reduce damage from opposing Pokemon and still chunk them if you are at plus one. However, you could make uh, the decision to swap that out for Dark Pulse if you just want a little bit of extra damage. Uh, defensively, this guy's like really bulky. You're going to be able to take Specs Moonblast from Fluttermane. And if they Terastalize, you're still eating it. It's going to do 80 to 95% uh, off a of Choice Specs with Terra Fairy. Yeah, no, this this set's actually kind of crazy. Uh, as for the Urshifu Calcs, if you're facing into an Urshifu Rapid Strike, let's say they're running like Mystic Water, Jolly. Uh, or actually, we'll, we'll Calc Adamant here. Adamant Close Combat is a roll to KO you. It's 50%. However, with uh, Fake Out or just any kind of Intimidate, uh, you're not going to get KO'd by close combat and you do resist the surging strikes. Uh, and Draco Meteor is a guaranteed one shot. So is Electro Shot. Basically, like Torn Urshifu is just Electro Shot food. And I think uh, I think that's actually pretty awesome. But yeah, uh, that's going to do it for the first moveset. For the next moveset, we're going to talk about a Trick Room. Uh, basically, just a Trick Room variant. So this is going to be one of the few applications of the Stellar Terrestrialization that I think you could get away with. Basically, the way that hard Trick Room works is you want to take as many KOs as possible as quickly as possible. And by using the um, Stellar Terrestrialization, even though you don't maintain the boost on all of your moves, you don't get anything defensively, getting one major boost on each type of move is something that you would actually like for Archaladon. So we're going to run just max HP, max special attack, four special defense, quiet nature, zero speed IVs uh, with a life orb. And our ability is going to be Stalwart. And we're running Electroshot, Flash Cannon, Draco Meteor, and actually Terra Blast. However, you could swap that out for any other coverage, Dark Pulse, whatever. I just think that the Terra Blast is going to be a pretty cool uh, option for uh, defeating just opposing Terras. It's actually really decent into, like, Indeedee Armor Rouge. Since you are Stalwart, the Indeedee can't redirect away your attack. And if they want to go for, like, a Terra Grass in front of a partner Pokemon uh, who's going to use, like, a Water-type attack, let's say you have an Urshifu next to it, you can just double into it. Uh, and they're going to have to eat the uh, Terra Blast, and it's going to drop them because it's going to be special, or it's going to be uh, super effective versus their Terrestrialization. But yeah, uh, the idea here is you go for the Stellar Terra, <clears throat> and after the Stellar Terra, what ends up happening is you get a boost to literally all of your attacks, right? So your Electroshot becomes a nuke. Well, Calgit versus like a standard Ndidi Trick Room support set, Electroshot with the Stellar Terra is going to be doing 98% at plus one with that life orb. Uh, so if they're not running like a lot of spidef, or if they're not running, you know, like, um, or sorry, that's versus uh, Psychic Seed and DD. If they're not running Psychic Seed, if they're running any other item, it is just a guaranteed one shot versus Ndidi, and that's kind of insane. But yeah, the rest of the moves just become nukes. You, you know, hit things with Flash Cannon at plus one, it KOs them. Hit things to Draco Meteor at plus one, it KOs them. This guy's like really scary. The only downside is you're not running the Grass Terra, um, and that's going to make it so you end up having to <laughs> deal with Amoongus in some other way. You need to fake out, you need to maybe use like Follow Me Ogre Pond uh, to redirect away the Spore. I don't know, you, you have your options there. But uh, the basic idea for this guy is just set up the Trick Room, get going, and start taking KOs, as you do with Trick Room sets. The next move set that we have is one that doesn't use Stalwart, but rather uses stamina. So despite our child on being like a really, 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 really good candidate for the uh, assault vest item because of its low spit F, you can actually invest enough spit F where you just tank the uh, flutter main moon blast with choice specs. And that's what this set aims to do because it allows you to run leftovers and stamina. The way stamina works is it makes it so that every time you get attacked by a physical move um, or it might be a contact move, I forget, you get plus one defense every single time. So if you switch in on an Urshifu Rapid Strike Surging Strikes, plus three defense instantly. Like that's really, really useful, especially considering you resist Surging Strikes. You're not gonna 
care about anything else that Urshua wants to go for. Uh, so yeah, this set is running max HP, 108 defense, 36 special attack, 108 special defense, and 4 speed with a modest nature, and Terra Water. Our moveset is Snarl, Flash Cannon, Draco Meteor, and Breaking Swipe. However, you could drop either Snarl or Breaking Swipe for a Protect to allow you to a little bit uh, to allow you a little bit more longevity with leftovers. And yeah, uh, this move set is just defensively inclined. That uh, the Moonblast from the Fluttermane off of Specs is doing 99% maximum. However, if you want to go Terra Poison, you can get even more resistance off of that. Uh, into the only really like powerful fighting type you need to worry about one-shotting you, Urshifu Rapid Strike. Uh, you, the close combat is going to do 91% maximum. And then if you switch in on Surging Strikes and you end up getting up to plus three defense, then the close combat will only be doing 37% maximum. And you can just like take a ton of damage on them with Draco Meteor. But yeah, uh, the 36 special attack is just because we're modest. That hits the bump. It just makes it so like, if you're at 28 special attack, you have 163 as your stat. If you're at 36, you have 165. It just skips a number. That's what the bump is. Uh, but yeah, this uh, this moveset is more of like a hear me out moveset. I don't know if it's going to be the best option for our child on, but it's certainly an option. Um, I'm either going to tack it on to the end of this video or do a, you know, or just put it in a completely separate video. Uh, but I do have a couple of partner options for our child on that I think are pretty decent. Uh, I would say, yeah, I'll just I'll just talk about it now. But I was thinking about like doing an example battle at the end of this. I think we're going to not do the example battle today because... I'm at San Antonio and it's it would take forever to edit stuff to do today. Uh, but some partners that I think would be really nice for it. One, Rillaboom, I mentioned that at the beginning. Uh, two, Porygon 2, phenomenal partner for it. Porygon 2 is going to be a, a Pokemon that allows you to go for Trick Room. It has access to Eerie Impulse uh, to allow you to reduce damage from opposing Fluttermane or any other special attacker. Uh, but also, it just appreciates the <laughs> just the offensive partner. You know, it's just a really strong Pokemon next to the guy. Even though you share a fighting weakness, it's, it's kind of whatever. You're you're bulky enough where it doesn't matter. Uh, Amoongus is a great partner. It gives you redirection. It allows you to sleep a post Pokemon under Trick Room. And I think a really underrated partner that we're going to see pop up here and there is a Raquinid. You're already running like Politoed next to this guy. That's a given. Or even Pelipper. Rain is going to be up. When Rain is up, like water Pokemon like Urshifu Rapid Strikes, but especially a Raquinid, a Pokemon that appreciates the Trick Room, is going to be a very terrifying option. It's basically just like Trick Room goes up, nuke, 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 just KO whatever you can. It's a cool Pokemon. I really enjoy it. But yeah, uh, that's my basic rundown on our Chalodon. We'll see where this Pokemon takes us as the uh, generation goes on and as the format develops. But I think this is actually going to be a really strong option in a lot of teams. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and uh, let me know which Pokemon you want me to cover next in the comment section down below. See ya.